the most flashiest of marketing sites always have this common thing that they use, which is making an element or a section position sticky and then adding some scrolling interactions within that element. For example, this one by Joseph Berry, if you scroll down, see that number 11, it sticks to the top right, even as you're scrolling down. But then here's a better example. If I keep scrolling right here, that sticks. And then we have some sort of horizontal scrolling thing or a masking thing. And then it switches on the left, the image on the left switches. And this is all one section. And when you go past it, the sticky is gone. And that's what uh, CSS position sticky kind of gives you the ability to do a lot of cool things. And then two sites from the awards uh, site of the day, like this one, kind of like what Joseph Berry was doing, but um, yeah. So stick animation, and again, another one from Awards. This one's super complicated. Well, the animation is complicated, but um, this whole pixel effect as you're zooming in. But again, the section sticks, and then you do some sort of animation as you're scrolling down, and then it unsticks when you get to the next section. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the most basic way to do this in Wix Studio, Framer, and of course, Webflow. So you can see how all three tools do basically the same thing and gets you ready to create even crazier interactions and effects. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so we're here in Wix Studio and here is what we're gonna be making. A sticky element that not only expands or scales up, but also fades out as you're scrolling down. All right, very simple. Let me show you how it's done. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is add a section and add an element. And within that section, I'm gonna add a container. And this container, let's turn on advanced settings for our styles right here. I'm gonna set that to 100% width and the height is going to be 300 VH, all right? Now, let's go ahead and add an image within this. So I've clicked it, but it's so tall, so I have to scroll down. Let's go ahead and make sure that this we're gonna drag it all the way to the top right here. Let's say 20%. We can type it down here, 20% for the top. And let's set the advanced settings. Let's set the width to 100% and the height to 420 pixels. And if I preview now, you'll see that it's not really sticky. All right, so easy enough. Let's click on the image. And all you have to do is position type sticky and we can stick it to the top and have it offset by 20%. And if I preview, it is sticky. Now that is the most foundational thing you need to know in Wix Studio to start making some scrolling animation. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and add one. Really simply, click on the image, animations and effects, scroll, and I'm going to add a scroll trigger and it's going to expand uh, on out. All right, preview. And I can just, there you go. See it expanding? There we go. Now, what if I want to add a second scroll? So if you look here, I'm gonna zoom in. If I add another uh, animation, it says this element already has an animation. Choose a different animated element. And so the workaround for this to add multiple interactions or effects to one element is you actually have to put it on a separate element. So what you have to do is right click, paste this image in a container, set this container to have the scroll interaction. And so we're gonna fade it out. And then plus the, the positioning has to be position sticky. And if I preview, there we go. See that fade out? So two things are happening at the same time, but it's not on one element. It's actually on two elements right here. So that's how you create these flashy scrolling position sticky interactions on elements on Wix Studio. All right, so let's try this in Framer. So as I show you right here, this section is sticky and the scale is going from one to some other bigger number and the opacity is going from 100% down to zero. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and recreate this. So first thing I'm gonna do is add rows. So I'm gonna click on rows here at the top. Let's draw a box. 
make sure that that's fill and there we go we only need one frame so i'm going to delete that first one and in this frame let's go ahead and set the uh width actually the the height to 200 vh all right and let's make this stack right here not fixed but it fits the content there we go and in this frame let's go ahead and add an image in this image we're gonna make sure that it sticks to the top it's not position absolute so to do this i need to convert this frame to a stack so i go to layout stack and there we go and i want to make sure that the distribution is to the start so that means to the top because it's flexbox and now for this image let's go ahead and add my own image right there and let's set this to fill the full width and we'll set the height to we'll say like that cool now let's go ahead and make this sticky so again if you watch it's not sticky at all all right so to make this sticky i have to make this image position sticky now if i press preview it's still not going to work because i have to make sure that this stack and this stack and make sure that the overflow right now it says it's mixed i'm going to set that to visible if i preview now we have it sticky as you can see there so it stops now it's sticky so there you go so that's the foundations next i'm going to add an interaction so let's go ahead and add some effects so for this image i'm going to do scroll transform and in section view so now right here we're trying to target a certain section but right now there are no sections so what i have to do i have to go to this parent section right here and then go right here to scroll section and give it a name so i'm going to say uh, photo sticky there we go and now i can go back to this image the transform and now i can target the photo sticky section so as i'm scrolling through the photo sticky section i want this effect so i want this to start this photo to start at one opacity and one scale and then the ending transition i want it to be zero opacity and let's do like 1.6 scale right now if i click out and press play there we go all right, so that's doing the very basic position sticky with scrolling interactions applied to an element. All right, lastly, let's do this in Webflow. So here's my example. If I scroll down, you'll see that the image is sticky and it's doing the scale and opacity, as you can see here on the right side, the interactions panel. And there we go. So let's go ahead and recreate this. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is select the hero stack and set the height to 300 VH. And as you can see, there's nothing here. And let's go ahead and drag in an image. And let's let's set this image to something like a, like a, a height of 420, but the width is 100%. And to make sure it's not skewed, I need to make sure that the more sizing items is set to object cover. There we go. So very small and as you can see as i'm scrolling up and down it's not sticky but easily enough i can set this position to sticky right here set the top to zero and there you go so the reason why this is working is because i've set it to sticky with a top of zero and its parent hero stack has a position of relative and the overflow is visible so those are the requirements to start something that's sticky now let's go ahead and add an interaction to this. So like we did in Framer, we want to target the section that we want the scrolling effect to happen on. So hero stack is our uh, target element. And so let's go ahead and element trigger sc while scrolling in view. Let's play a scroll animation and let's add a new one. And this one right here, we're going to say a uh, scrolling effect. And now with this panel open, we need to target a element uh, that's not the hero stack that we will manipulate or transform. So I'm going to choose image three and make sure that 
and we want to start from scale of one and when we get down to the bottom of the page we want to make sure or down to the bottom of the section we want to make sure that it grows so we're going to say 1.5 right and then for the opacity we're going to set that to 100 and we're going to right click duplicate so we can drag it down here to 100 and set that to zero so if i preview there we go all right and we can actually fine tune when the interactions start and stop so i'm going to say like something like 42 so like both of these and this will happen at end at 64 and so if i scroll there you go all right so that's how to do the basic position sticky scroll interaction effect and you can do multiple you can actually do more than just scale and opacity you can do a lot more here uh, inside of Webflow. So as you saw, all three tools are fairly simple to get into and start the foundational structure of making a position stickied element with a scrolling interaction effect. Now with Wix Studio, it's very, very simple. It's the simplest one to create a sticky positioned element. However, you can't see the element become sticky until you enter the preview mode. For its framer, it's a little bit more complicated than Wix Studio, but still doable. As we saw, you have to make sure that all the parent elements have an overflow of visible, right? And also you can't see the sticky actually work until you go into preview mode, just like Wix Studio. And lastly, Webflow, it's also a little bit more complicated than Wix Studio because Again, it's doable, but you have to make sure that the position relative is set on the parent element and the parent element doesn't have a overflow of hidden. But in Webflow, you can see the sticky element happen right away on the canvas as you scroll up and down without having to go into preview mode. All right, now for the, all right, now for scrolling interaction effects. With Quick Studio, it's very, very simple. If you want to just add one effect to an element as you're scrolling down, but it's kind of weird if you want to add multiple. So as we saw, you have to wrap an element with another element like a container and apply a second effect to that rather than the main element that you want to affect. So that's that's the workaround. Now with Framer, it's very simple to add multiple transform effects to one element as you're scrolling down. Their uh, effects panel has a lot of the basics like uh, opacity, scale, rotation, and move. Now for Webflow, you could add multiple effects to one element as you're scrolling down. And also you have the power to add not just the opacity, scale, rotation, and move. You can actually do other things like with filters and strokes, background colors, and, and all these other things that uh, the Webflow Interactions panel has. So that's a comparison for all three. Let me know what you think about this video. Should I do more comparison videos? Uh, if you want, let me know what should I compare between all three of these leading products. And thanks again for watching. Leave some comments below, like, subscribe, do all those cool things, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for making the web beautiful together. See ya.